Well, hello again, friends, and welcome to another children's... Yes, I never remember the title. It's children's story time with Eddie with booze. I am... <clears throat> I'm, I'm here, and I am one and a half drinks in and, and ready to entertain the people. Tonight, tonight, we have a very, very special book that was actually requested by one of our viewers. Hello, viewers. Tonight's book, it is not for children. It's, it's, it is a bedtime story, but, but it's profane and it has language that is not appropriate, I feel, for young viewers. We're back to our iPad um, because I don't have this book physically. It is called Go the Fuck to Sleep. Go the Fuck to Sleep. Yeah, how about that? Children's Bedtime in the, I don't know what year it is, 2020. How could we forget? So it is Go the Fuck to Sleep. It is a New York Times bestseller. Um, it is by Adam Man Man Mansbach and rec illustrated, there's pictures, by Ricardo Cortez. So very exciting. Let's just get into it. Let's just figure this out. Title page, Go the Fuck to Sleep. So we're very, we're here for that. The cats nestle close to their kittens. The lambs have lain down with the sheep. You're cozy and warm in your bed, my dear. Please, go the fuck to sleep. It's really heartwarming, is what it is. The windows are dark in the town, child. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book. If you swear, you'll go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> Look at these illustrations. They really, they really bring it home um, for me as, as the reader. Maybe for you as the viewer, I don't know. Yeah, let's just let's just keep going. Um, I'm gonna have a drink because that's that's the title of the show. Mm, lovely, lovely picture of of trees and whatnot. Trees and whatnot. Twilight, maybe dusk. Who knows? The eagles who soar through the sky are at rest, and the creatures who crawl, run, and creep. I know you're not thirsty. That's bullshit. Stop lying. Lie the fuck down, my darling and sleep. It's heartwarming. It's really, this, this is like, this is like a Christmas book because it's very, it's very, it tugs at the heartstrings. The wind whispers soft through the grass, hun. The field mice, they make not a peep. It's been 38 minutes already. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Go to sleep. This, I feel, is really what all parents say at every hour of the day. Um, uh, uh, what the, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Yeah, I really think that's, that's like, that parents should get that printed on a t-shirt. And, and there's a little mouse, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little mouse sleeping. He took, he took the advice. He went the fuck to sleep. Yeah. All the kids from daycare are in dreamland. The froggy has made his last leap. Hell no, you can't go to the bathroom. You know where you can go? The fuck to sleep. I hope there's progressive parents out there watching this who will show this video to your children at bedtime so that I can lull them the fuck to sleep. I see what I did. I like made my own little passage. It was great. All right. I don't know about you guys, but that's a creepy ass drawing. I don't know if that's like an illustrator's actual child that he drew, but why is that in the book? I'm a little freaked out. The owls fly forth from the treetops. Through the air they soar and they sweep. A hot crimson rage fills my heart, love. For real, shut the fuck up and sleep. I can't tell you how many times I have felt that in my, in my head and also in my heart. And look at the crimson. These are beautiful illustrations and more. There's more illustrations. We're just gonna look at all this. The cubs and the lions are snoring, wrapped in a big, snuggly heap. How come you can do all this other great shit, but you can't lie the fuck down and sleep? First of all, what great shit is a kid doing where they have to be read this bedtime story? What, what, what is that shit? Are they, are they, are they, are they painting impressive things? Are they singing songs with, with apt and dexterity and professionalism? 
yeah, I don't know if apt, aptitude, that's better. Aptitude and depth and professionalism is what I meant. It's, we're almost two drinks in, who knows what's happening. I don't even remember if I finished this page, I'll be honest with you. Here's another creepy picture of a kid. I don't, lying down with lions. I don't know what that's about. And here's a picture of a kid parachuting. Maybe that's the great stuff they were talking about. Like, this is all the great shit you're doing. You're parachuting. Go the fuck to sleep. Who knows? The seeds slumber beneath the earth now and the crops that the farmers will reap. No more question. Wait. Mm. No more questions. I have to put the S on the end. No more questions. This interview's over. I've got two words. Mm. I, mm, the booze. I've got two words for you, kid. Fucking sleep. Sometimes I say that to myself. Really, like, sometimes I'll just be laying in bed and I'm just like, fucking sleep, Eddie, Jesus. The tiger reclines in the simmering jungle. The sparrow has silenced her cheek. Fuck your stuffed bear. I'm not getting you shit. Close your eyes. Cut the crap. Sleep again. I've said this to myself multiple times. Cut the shit. Go the fuck to sleep. This is language ridden, people. So, so choose wisely who you share this with. There's a lot of language. That's the fucking creepiest one of all. It's fucking creepy. The flowers doze low in the meadows and high on the mountains so steep. My life is a failure. I'm a shitty ass parent. Stop fucking with me, please, and sleep. Parents, don't think you're a failure. Sometimes kids just don't go to sleep. Sometimes I don't go to sleep. It happens. The giant, oh, I don't know this word. It's the, it's the P word right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's the giant pangolins of Madagascar are snoozing as I lie here and openly weep. Sure, fine, whatever. I'll bring you some milk. Who the fuck cares? You're not gonna sleep. I've also had that thought before. There, there's creepy, get this book, folks. This book is creepy. It's weird. This room is all I can remember. The furniture crappy and cheap. You win, you escape, you run down the hall as I nod the fuck off and sleep. Really, it's all about the parents. Really, the whole thing about putting kids to bed, it's about the parents because the parents got shit to do, including sleep. And now it's a naked child. I don't know what's happening here. All right. Dazed, I awaken to find your eyes shut. So I keep my fingers crossed tight as I tiptoe away and pray that you're fucking asleep. Also, every parent in America walking away from their kid this is, you just, you're tiptoeing. You're just like, God bless, please don't be awake ever. Not ever, but like, for the foreseeable future, until morning, when I have to make you breakfast. God, parents' jobs are never done. Oh, more, more parents walking away. Maybe that's like, I don't know. That looks like a parent walking away with a kid, with the mom. I don't know what's happening here. We're finally watching our movie. Popcorn's in the microwave. Beep! Oh shit, God damn it! you've got to be kidding. Come on, go the fuck back to sleep. Really kids, be there for your parents and just go the fuck to sleep because they, they need their alone time. The end. The end. That, that was the end of the book. Let's just read that last passage again. Oh shit, God damn it! you've got to be kidding. Come on, go the fuck back to sleep. It's like an endless nightmare for parents. It really, really is. So, so, so... Go the fuck to sleep. Brought it full circle. You're welcome. Cheers, everyone. Happy holidays. It's not a holiday. Memorial Day is coming. So, cheer. Happy holidays. Good night.